Hi friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like your video. Thank you all. It's no secret we like Ram trucks. The brand had a three-year run as the Motor Trend Truck of the Year, Ram 1500 in 2019, Ram 2500 3500 HD in 2020, Ram 1500 TRX in 2021 A streak that was finally broken last year by the brilliant Rivian R1T. So when a new variant like the Ram 2500 Rebel pops up, we take notice. No tape stripe special, this, the 2023 Ram 2500 HD Rebel is an extremely capable truck, modeled after the 1500 Rebel that's been in production since the mid-teens. Until now, if you wanted a heavy-duty Ram that was also a turnkey off-roader, your only choice was the power wagon. Think of the Ram 2500 Rebel, HD Rebel, for short, as power wagon light. But our testing has proven the HD Rebel is no lightweight, literally or figuratively. The Rebel 2500 shares much of the power wagon's undercarriage, including its three-link live axle front suspension, five-link coil sprung rear axle with a limited slip differential and electronic locker, skid plates, and 33-inch RO tires. Like the power wagon, it comes standard with a 6.4-liter V8 with 410 horsepower, backed by an 8-speed automatic transmission and four-wheel drive. Styling is largely derived from the power wagon, but the Rebel gets a unique Mopar power bulge hood. There are a few power wagon features missing from the 2500 Rebel standard equipment list, including its 2-inch suspension lift, 17-inch beadlock capable wheels, lockable front differential, and the RT cooling front suspension with its detachable front anti-roll bar. Also, the power wagon standard 12,000 pound worn winch is an option on the Rebel. But the HD Rebel offers a few important options you can't get on a power wagon, including one that Ram tells us is often requested, the legendary Cummins 6.7 liter, six cylinder turbo diesel, which, as it turns out, is a mixed blessing. More on that in a moment. The Rebel also comes with a set of stiffer springs found on other HD Rams and an optional rear air suspension. Those last two items are of particular import, because they mean the HD Rebel is better suited than the power wagon to perform the kind of towing and lugging work for which heavy-duty trucks are often employed. While the Ram 2500 power wagon has a maximum payload of 1,630 pounds and a towing limit of 10,590 pounds, the 2500 Rebel has a max payload of 3,140 pounds and a towing capacity of 16,870 pounds, with a gas engine, that is. Because of the greater weight of the diesel engine, payload is reduced to 1,980 pounds and towing to 14,920 pounds with the diesel. You also can't get the optional winch with the Cummins because it takes up more space behind the grill. See, we told you the diesel is a mixed blessing. We had a chance to do some off-roading with both gasoline and diesel versions of the HD Rebel. The chassis setup is fantastic, we tackled some rather severe obstacles, and both trucks walked over them with minimal drama and effort. When it comes to off-roading, there's little substitute for a lot of torque and ground clearance. Did we miss the power wagon's front locking diff? Heck, we rarely needed to lock the Rebel's rear diff. We thought the diesel-powered HD Rebel would have some off-road advantages, given its significant low-end torque. But here, too, the gas engine proved to be the better choice. We found it way easier to apply power smoothly and gently with the 6.4 as opposed to the Cummins. With low range engaged, the diesel tended to leap forward with even the lightest touch of the accelerator. The gasser's engine braking was better, too. On the steepest downslopes, we were able to downshift to low gear, and the Rebel would tiptoe down the hill. The diesel does have an exhaust brake, but it didn't do much at low engine speeds. The Rebel has electronic hill descent control as standard, and we found we needed it with the diesel but not the gas engine. Of course, most of us drive on road at least as much as we do off of it, and here the diesel showed its one clear advantage, significantly better fuel economy. While the diesel's indicated average hit the mid to high teens, the gas engine struggled to hit 12 miles per gallon, and dropping the hammer dropped fuel consumption into the single digits. That said, the upcharge for the diesel is, are you sitting down? $9,595 on top of the 2500 Rebels $68,940 base price. You'd have to do a lot of driving to make up the difference in fuel savings. HD Rebels with either engine have their own on-road challenges. Like the power wagon, the Rebel has no side steps, they reduce the breakover angle, 
and if you're of shorter than average height, you'll have to practically parkour your way into the cab. If you have kids young enough for car seats, the best way to get them into the back seat is to hang a pulley from the door frame and use the winch. That said, the climb into the Rebels Crew cab is well worth it. As with other Ram models, it's a lovely place to be. Ram offers three trim levels for the Rebel, and the upper two include leather seats and the big tablet-style touchscreen we've come to know and love in other Ram models. For 2023, all Ram HDs get an improved digital instrument cluster that, among other things, features a moving map display, though the shape of the panel means you'll see more of what you're passing to either side than what lies directly in front of you. We had an opportunity to put the gasoline-powered 2500 Rebel through our performance tests. The truck got itself to 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds and through the quarter mile in 15.8 seconds at 88.1 miles per hour. Those aren't great numbers, but they aren't surprising considering the 2500 Rebel weighs in at a massive 7,499 pounds. We'll be curious to see how the diesel performs once we have a chance to test it. Yes, it has more torque, 850 pounds to foot versus the gasser's mere 429, but judging from the reduced payload, it adds well over half a ton of weight to the truck. What about the rest of the driving experience? Car-like doesn't spring to mind. Three-quarter ton trucks aren't the most comfortable vehicles to begin with, given how stiff their springs have to be in order to carry a ton and a half or lug eight plus tons of trailer. Still, the Ram's coil spring setup makes the ride notably better than a leaf-sprung truck, and when fitted with the optional rear air springs, the HD Rebel's ride is almost tolerable. To call the steering imprecise would be a gross understatement, it's big, soft off-road tires make steering inputs feel more like mere suggestions, and there's enough wind and tire noise to compete with the thrum of the diesel. Still, as far as off-road ready pickups go, the Ram 2500 Rebel is a compelling package. It does most of what the power wagon will do in all but the most extreme off-road situations, and it retains the heavy-duty towing and hauling abilities the power wagon gives up. And because it's a Ram, it's quite a bit more tolerable than most three-quarter ton pickups. The 2023 Ram 2500 Rebel gives us yet another reason to be Ram fans.